welcome back to the homestead. I wanted to do a follow-up video on a video I made last week. We had just uh, purchased a tractor from Rural King. Uh, we got the RK37 uh, cab tractor. And I apologize for the little bit of echo. I'm in the cab now. It's pretty breezy out today. It's, it's I mean, it's a gorgeous day. It's about 60 degrees, perfect blue skies, nice cool north wind, um, but it don't, the wind don't sound good in videos, so feels great. But but I did want to do a, a follow-up video. So when I picked the tractor up last Saturday, last Friday, whatever day it was, we uh, when I picked it up, the uh, the the ag tires that we had picked online, the picture I, I shared in the last video, the picture that was online and the picture of the, and the actual tire that we got were were two total different tires. Um, they were half the width that was shown in the picture. So I had mentioned it to the guy uh, when I picked the tractor up and he was, he just said that basically, and was pretty much the way it had, you know, what we got was what we got. So I was a little disappointed, brought it home, tried it out the next day. And uh, the, it was just terrible. Like the, the tread on the tire was great, but they were so, thin that we I couldn't get any traction to pick up a, a scoop of dirt even in four-wheel drive so it was disappointing um, so I, I was like well I'm just gonna have to save up and you know when I get the money saved up I'll just go buy a set of the uh, the industrial tires so that's a that's the standard tire that comes on it now I know that I uh, didn't know that at the time so unbeknownst to me my wife knew how disappointed i was and she actually went she went and called the store and talked to the manager uh who was actually the guy i dealt with originally and uh told him the situation and she uh she was super nice about it she just was asking if there was anything to be done and he he's like you know what uh bring it back in and we'll take we'll take care of you so and he's like any anything else that you see on it that you're not you know totally happy with just send me a picture of it and i'll see what i can do so we looked the tractor over we had we had already you know seen a few things that were not not new standard by any standard uh on what you would think would be a new tractor it, it was you know like several faded places uh seal broke uh some of the vinyl interior was uh, peeling off so we took pictures of it and we sent it to him we're like look if you could just change the tires that we'd be happy with that but you know these are some of the other things so they had it for five days and we went and picked it up uh friday night and this thing <laughs> is beautiful i'm gonna i'm gonna go do a walk around but they changed the tires as you can see they've got the the bigger tires and they've ordered the pieces that were broken inside they went ahead and ordered those for us so we'll, you know once those come in we'll take it back and they'll fix that but they put a brand new hood on it two brand new fenders on the back here and the top of the cab brand new and then after all of that they actually detailed this thing better than any car detail I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's shiny. Whenever I pulled up into the parking lot and saw it, I'm like, surely that's not our tractor. That thing was like glowing out there in the parking lot. So, um, I'm impressed. When I bought the tractor, he told me that they saw that whenever they said, when I mean, they see a, a sale as an agreement that they have even past the warranty but as an agreement that they have with their customers um and i would have to say that's true i wasn't sure how it was going to work wasn't sure how the customer service was going to be because customer service is always great when everything's great um so i'm impressed so the manager in the ocala store his name's brian this guy is awesome and he went above and beyond to make us happy and I can't say enough good things about them. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn the camera around here and let you see uh, up close what it looks like. 
the uh, these are the tires the new tires that we've got on here they're much wider the last ones like the back tire set inside the fender uh, as far as width and you can see how wide these are a lot better traction of course I actually bought this extra it's a, a quick release uh, three-point deal so that way it's supposed to make uh, picking up and releasing attachments way quicker and easier so we'll give that a try at some point but these uh, these tires are awesome much happier before I tried to scoop up a load of dirt in four-wheel drive and I couldn't even get a full load of dirt without spinning down the tires and having to constantly finesse the bucket and I still couldn't get a full load with these tires I was able to go up and scoop up a load of dirt without even spinning in two-wheel drive so much better tire if you're gonna get a tractor from Royal King these are the tires you want to get for sure the inside it's a, got a couple feet prints in there of course now because I've used it several times but I mean it's it's immaculate I mean it's it is nice and clean everywhere in here I'm impressed they did a they did a really good job detailing it and they uh, we didn't even ask them to it was just something they did and it looked beautiful I don't think I showed the engine last time so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that I'm gonna pop the hood here let's get the little popper here look at the engine in this thing It's like a car engine. It's easy to get to pretty much everything in there too, which is nice. Good hydraulics. That just goes back. These little guys tighten. So, anyway, I just wanted to share a follow-up video on that because I know the last video came across as a little bit uh, disappointing as far as the, the product itself. And it was my fault. I, I mean, I take full responsibility. I picked the tire without seeing it. And I, you know, I should have went and looked at what I was picking before I, I got it. I just went off of what the picture showed, so... But I, the, I would definitely, I would definitely recommend if you're getting a tractor from Rural King, you get get the. Uh, I think these are considered R4 tires. R1, I think, are ag. Then I believe R2 are turf tires. I think these are R4s. Now they are coming out with an R14, which is supposed to be a. It's a combination of the R4 r1s so i guess they'll have a little bit more tread and probably be a little skinnier but not as aggressive as the r1s so anyway that's all i wanted to share we thank you guys for bearing with me i uh rambling and <laughs> i just wanted to uh give a shout out and give credit to real king for for fixing all all of our uh issues we had with the tractor i'm totally satisfied and, and very happy with the customer service that they have so i would highly recommend them to anyone so anyway thank you all for joining us and we'll see you on the next video